Morning, it's Paula from Furnishing Emporium and today we're going to do this fantastic um, TV cabinet. You can see inside it's still got, oh, can't get the doors open, good stuff, there we go. It's still got all the slats from the air, the air channels or whatever they are, so it's going to be a bit of a job to tidy up inside. But we're going to use this lovely London Vintage paint. I'm going to start with a solid coat of this white and then I'm going to show you some washing, brushing, washing techniques with some bolder colours that I've got and then we're going to move on to an image transfer which I shall show you when we get to that stage so I'll come back in a bit. Right so we've covered it in the white, we've had some uneven um, patches on the top because it, it was like old veneer and some of it had chipped off so we decided that we're going to do a raised stencil to kind of disguise that a bit so I've got this modelling paste which I got from Hobbycraft and I've got my corner stencil I'm using a credit card, an old one, to just scrape it over the stencil. Oh, I've had a disaster. <laughs> right, that should be all right now. Right, so obviously we have to hold it down. It's not proving as straightforward as I'd hoped. So you can leave it as textured or smooth, it doesn't matter, and you can also, once it's dry, sand it down, so even if you haven't got it completely smooth, sanding will solve that. So this I'm not going to do as too sticky outy, I just wanted it to give a bit of relief. So I think I've saved that. I'm going to go on and do the same stencil in every corner um, in the same way. So when that's dry, it then obviously needs leaving to dry for quite a while, um, although I will speed it up with a hairdryer. But then we'll move on to the colour washing and you'll, see, you'll be able to see the effect that it has because it will stick out enough to show up. So I'll come back when we get to that stage. All right. Right, so we're going to do some colour washing now and I'm going to show you how to do that. I've got a paintbrush for each colour and I've got a dry brush and I've got an absolutely bonkers dog running around as we speak. So just if you hear any ruckus noise, that's what it is. So I'm going to dip in a little bit of my first colour and then I'm going to load my brush with water. And then I'm going to brush, you have to work quite quickly just small areas at a time. Lovely colour. Okay, so now I've done that, I'm going to use my dry brush, very bristly bone dry, to just smooth it out. Okay. Now I'm going to go in with a different colour, so I'm going to this time do it the other way around. A bit of water, tiny dab of colour. And we're going to that vibrant colour, wow. Okay, then back in with my dry brush to so blend it in. Loving that combination, it's really working well. Right, I'm just going to have to uh, pause a minute and rescue something from the dog. Hmm. He's been a very naughty boy. <laughs> Look at that, it's lovely, it's really picked up the gorgeousness of the stencil as well I think it's worked really well so I'm going to carry on I'm going to add let's go back to water I'm going to carry on in this way all over the piece adding the colours I've also got a third colour which I might well introduce as well 
So it's about adding layers, adding texture, adding a bit of drama to the piece so that it looks interesting and not the same all over. I really like that. I'm loving these two colours. And it's the dry brush that really helps blend them together. And as you'll see, I'm kind of doing up and down and left to right to try and sort of keep the brush line strokes in the same direction. That is just stunning. Right, I will come back and show you when I've worked a bit more colour into it. See you in a bit. Morning. Right, so we have finished covering all of this in lots of different layers. We played and played. I ended up adding some black dry brushing um, around the edges because just to give it a sort of vintage look and I quite like it. We've picked up um, some of the raised stencil with the black as well. And I'm not sure we're completely finished with that, but we need to move on to the next bit to see what that looks like before we decide if it needs any more or less. So what I've done is given this front area, just the front area at the moment, a cover of polyvine matte varnish and that's to seal in the chalk paint because then we're going to do this image transfer and I've printed this off on Blockbusters, Blockbuster posters and you need to um, upload a JPEG picture and then you can create it, this is one, two, three, four, five, six A4 pages, um, it had a border so we've cut the border off and stuck, stuck them together, scribbled with pencil on the back and we're going to stick it onto here and then go over with a biro all of those lines. So that's going to take some while and you really don't want to be watching that but literally just going to go around the edges of all of the lettering in a biro and then because we've sealed this with the varnish I should be able to use a normal sharpie pen to fill it in and it will work really well. So we'll come back when we're a little bit further down the road and you'll see that working. Alright, see you in a bit. Right, hiya, me and Andrea got a little bit carried away because it, it all got a bit exciting and we just couldn't stop to video it. So I'm going to talk through what actually happened in what order. When I went to do the transfer, at, at, which is where we last uh, saw you, the lead pencil that I had in the shop was a really hard pencil not a soft lead pencil so when we started to do the transfer it was very apparent very quickly that it wasn't coming through um, so we had to come up with plan B because I didn't have a softer pencil in the shop so we used chalk um, all over the back of the picture and then went round in biro to transfer it that in itself worked brilliant but then of course the problem was that because we'd used chalk and there was chalk all over the front of this that the sharpie pen wasn't going to work on it because it was just going to get dragged up with chalk so plan b for that too um, was we ended up hand painting it um, with some black paint uh, which took a while took, took quite a long while but i think you'll see it's worth it now i bought this has just been brilliant i bought this set on ebay it's actually for painting your nails not that i've got nice nails but um it comes with a whole host of the most minute tiny brushes it was about 2.99 i think um took ages to come so it might have come from china but when it arrived we've used it today to get the really small detail in this really pretty effortlessly uh, it's worked really well so i'm going to look after this set with my life so once we've finished all of that I've sanded down using 120 grit sandpaper because it was quite a bold black so I wanted it to vintage out a bit so I've been quite rough with it, didn't have to be too careful and what it's done which I really like is pulled some of the white that we originally painted it in back through so it's made sense of the white and then the last thing I did was I found online this Liberan Verdigris wax um, and it's I'll show you what it looks like, if I can get the lid off. I can't get the lid off. But it looks green. It looks green, looks like that. And I've used it to pick out the stencil on the top and little areas around the um, hinges and so on, just to blend it in. And I just think it looks fantastic. I'm really chuffed with it. I'm going to be using that again. 
The overall thing I am so pleased with, I think the colours, the two colours that I chose initially, this turquoisey and this kind of plum purple colour, just look fantastic together. It's got to be my latest, uh, most favourite piece. So I hope you like it. I hope you have a go. We've covered a lot of things today. We've done really stenciling. We've done image transfer. We've done verdigree and waxing and watercolour washing with colours. So we've covered quite a lot and a lot of things to have a go. But look at it. It works really, really well. It's a really special piece. Thanks for watching and uh, please join me with the next one. Thank you. Thank you.